Howdy, all you fine folks out there in YouTube land. This is your boy, Mel S. Outdoors. Coming at you with another video. This one here is a DIY on how to make your fishing cart uh, usable with uh, Driftmaster rod holders or whatever brand you go with, Walmart brand or whatever. All you're going to need is your rod holders, uh, a drill big enough to fit this bolt which this is a half inch and all I got the three quarter well it ain't gonna work so I ain't gonna be able to completely finish it right now but by the end of the video it'll be finished you're gonna need your braille off of your fishing cart I went to Lowe's and got this one eighth inch by two inch by three foot piece of aluminum And you're going to need some self-tapping screws, metal screws. These are number 10 by 1 inch. Self-drilling, auto performance or something, Dan Phillips, Pan Phillips. Okay, I got a hole drilled in here, pilot hole. And again, you want to do this where you can clean the floor up because you're going to have metal shavings from drilling. Okay. Let's see here. I'm going to take and drill me a uh, pilot hole for my screw in this. Uh -oh. <laughs> about lost my drill bit that's hot so you want to keep that in mind now we're going to put us a Phillips bit in here we're going to take our self tempered screw Screw out of my pouch here. See if we can put this screw in here without drilling our hole. Line our screw up. Eh, back here. Help when you have a partner help. My partner's at work right now. Makes things go easier when you got extra set of hands. Wedged in here somewhere or another where we can work on it.
There we go. Now we're getting somewhere, people. There, now you got a lip. A screw in each end of this bad boy. Then we're gonna put us another one about right here in the middle. Like I said, you're going to have aluminum shavings everywhere, so watch out for that. There we go. We got her attached. Now all you got to do is figure out where you want to put your rod holders at on here. I've only got two rod holders at the moment. Real super speed here. I'll be right back with you. I'm gonna run outside and drill this. I've already made a substantial mess here in the floor. But I'll be right back with you. Okay, folks. Back with you. Got them drilled out. Well, it's not easy. Put our hose drilled. And we'll screw this down on here. Phone ring. Should just have to ring. Lisa calling. She always calls. Right when I'm a process of video. Okay, got that on there. Screw this on the back. Not the prettiest apparatus ever was, but it will work. Screw this mug on the bottom here. There you go. I took my fishing cart and added two Griffmaster rod holders on there. I'm going to buy a third one, put a third one here in the middle, but all I got at the moment is these two. I'd say that looks pretty snazzy, I'd say. That's the first modification to the fishing cart. Now I'm going to go back and paint this, make it look a little better. It kind of looks out of place on this green. But what do y'all think? Let me know in the comments below. 
Have you ever thought about doing something like this, or am I just the wild child? Leave us <laughs> a comment. Hit that thumbs up. That lets us know how we're doing. Love seeing all y'all's comments. But I gotta get off here now. Clean all these metal shavings up. Hope y'all have a blessed evening.